YouTube, what's good? JB here, and I'm back for another video. In this video, we're talking about 10 items men should never wear. But before we get into this video, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss the vibes. I drop videos like this every week, so don't miss out. Two weeks ago, I posed a question on my stories asking women, what's one item men should never wear or should stop wearing, period. When I tell you they took this opportunity to go in on us, it was cringy, but funny at the same time. Now I got an overwhelming number of responses and it took me about a week and a half to compile them down to 10 items to make a list. There were a lot of good ones out there, but there was some that I just kept seeing over and over and over again. Now I just had to make this list only 10 items because we would be here all day. A lot of women got a lot of things to say about what we're wearing and let me tell you something, I am not a fashion advisor or expert at all. I just like to take pictures in good looking clothes and post them on Instagram. That's all, that's all. So do not come to me, do not shoot the messenger on this video. I wanna see y'all in my comments coming for me because I didn't say this, this is coming from women. This is women's opinion. Let's jump right into this list. Coming in at number 10, jerseys. Fellas, women hate it. They hate when you wear jerseys as a regular daily outfit. What they're saying is, is that jerseys should only be worn when you're going to a game, going to a bar that's showing a game, or you're in the house wearing a jersey because a game is on. The jerseys should be centered around a game. You should not be wearing it outside as a daily fit, at brunches, at day parties. You should not be wearing jerseys at all. Now, with that being said, there is one thing I wanna jump into real quick before we get to number nine. It is about trends. The fashion industry is all about trends. If you do not have the money to keep up with trends, I suggest you not do it because a lot of times what happens is you jump on trends too late or you hold on to that trend too long. Trends have a shelf life. When you see certain items at Marshall's and Nordstrom Rack, that means that trend is over and done with. Just because you see this item that's 70% off doesn't mean, oh, I'm about to kill him. No, that means we're not wearing this anymore, basically. So guys, again, make sure if you cannot keep up with the trends, save yourself the embarrassment and buy something that's gonna supersede the trends. But don't worry about it. If you don't wanna do that, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Get your shit off. Coming in at number nine, khakis. The old faithful. Our moms used to dress us up in khakis to church, to school, whatever it was. Khakis was the thing to wear. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't worn a pair of khakis in years in years. Maybe we should leave that to the older guys because I mean, I haven't really seen that many fits that you can get off with khaki. Now khakis, we can do away with it. So ladies, we agree. We, we agree with the khakis. Fellas, if you're wearing khakis, go ahead and toss them. No need for them at all, at all. Like I said, I haven't worn a pair of khakis in a long, long time. And I don't foresee myself buying khakis at all in the future. So I think we can toss that. Easy. Coming in at number eight, and I can't believe guys are still wearing this. I understand like maybe like two years ago, it became a thing for like three months. I can't believe men are still wearing this and an overwhelming majority of women put this in my DMs. Coming in at number eight, fellas, we gotta stop wearing rompers and onesies. I, I can't believe we're still wearing this. Now, I wore one. This is for this is for a brand. This is back in the day. I'll put it up here so you guys can see. You ain't the only ones, but this was a thing. I only wore it once, but this was a cool photo. This was a cool photo. But fellas, we should not be wearing onesies and rompers. You should leave those to the ladies. Now, again, do your thing. If this is what you want to wear, all these opinions are subjective. You want to wear what you want to wear do your thing but you should not be wearing onesies or rompers anymore or just at all stop it moving on i laughed at this because this was funny because i just had seen a company try to sell these shoes and i'm like who's going to buy that coming in at number seven dress shoes with sneaker soles mm -mm. no no, 
no, no, no, no. It has to be either one or the other. Fellas, either one or the other. I know you wanna dress casual, but you also wanna dress smart. This ain't smart. This is not smart whatsoever. You, there's, there's a perfectly way. You can either have a dress shoe, dress it up, dress it down, or you can have a casual tennis shoe that you can dress up or dress it down as well. You can wear sneakers with a dressier fit, like a suit. You can do that. You don't have to have a hybrid of the two. And I understand some dress shoes are not really comfortable for your feet. Uh, try Dr. Soul, but having a sneaker sole on a dress shoe is just not the business. And I know a few companies that have sold them in the past and it was a thing for about a year. Um, Kohan, <laughs> if you have these in your closet, go ahead and donate them or just throw them away, period. And this brings me to number six on the list. Fellas, this irks my soul more than anything. It really does. Coming in at number six, you guys, we have to stop wearing tight fitted suits. Suits that do not fit you whatsoever. Fellas, I want to encourage you to know your size. Not going to a H&M or Zara and buying a suit off the rack that does not fit you properly and trying to get into it and tell us it's a European fit. That's not, it doesn't look right. I just wanna let you know it does not look right. So I encourage you to go to a place like Bonobos or Suit Supply or Nordstrom's, get your right fit, get your measurements, get your right fit, and then you can tailor it to your liking. But please, 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 please stop buying suits that do not fit. Women and other men, we can tell it is not European. It does not look like a European cut. Trust me, we see you. Stop doing it, please. Bing. All right, so we're halfway through this list, coming in at number five, overly monogrammed fits. Fellas, I know you woke up in the morning and you laid that fit onto the bed and looked at it and was like, I'm about to kill him today. But trust and believe, you don't have to hit us with the Gucci bucket, the Gucci sweatsuit, and the Gucci shoes that look exactly the same, in the same colorway, and the same print. You don't have to do it to us because we don't want to see it. I'm sorry. We know you wanted to show us that you had the money for the Gucci. That's cool. But you don't need to do it like this. It's nasty. It's nasty. <laughs> don't do us like this. Again, don't come for me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know them people. And if you were really good friends of those people that are doing this, you would tell them to stop. It's nasty. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Coming up next on our list, and this is something that our culture has been doing for a long time. I don't know if some people have not got the hint that this trend is pretty much over, but we don't want to see this anymore. Coming in at number four, your flashy designer belts. You know, when you tuck your shirt in behind the belt so people can see the logo, so people can see the belt buckle, to let them know like this Gucci, this Fendi, what's up? We not trying to see that. Women are not trying to see this at all. It looks tacky. It's perfectly fine to have the belt, but you don't need to tuck your shirt behind it to let us know you got the Gucci belt. We don't care. Nobody cares, nobody cares. So you can have the belt, but just don't tuck your shirt in to let us know you got it. Guys, coming in at number three, socks with sandals. Now, I get it. I get it. Socks with sandals, the Jesus sandals, the ones that wrap around the ankle and wrap around the toes. Like, you shouldn't be wearing those anyway at all, but to wear them with white socks or socks, period, just ugh, shouldn't be wearing. Now, I had to get a little bit more information because I know, I know for a fact, me, that I wear socks with slides when I'm going to like the gas station, pump up, whatever, whatever, or if I'm just running somewhere like the corner store to get something. I don't want to put on shoes, so I just put on my slides. I had to make sure that was okay. So most women are saying the socks with the slides to go to just the corner store or just to the gas station, something real super quick is cool. 
but not wearing socks with the slides to the mall to go get something to eat. They don't want to see that. It looks like you didn't put any effort in at all with your outfit. Last two, these last two, about to hurt a lot of y'all because y'all still doing it. Y'all still active with this right now. Coming in at number two, I'm gonna put two things in there. Skinny jeans and the Moto jeans. I'm talking about the, the knockoff ball main jeans that are like the moto in the front, they got that moto look. We gotta stop wearing that. Again, if you can find them at Marshalls, the trend has been over. Just because you can find them for 75% off don't mean you need to get them, period. So stop wearing the moto jeans, guys. Second of all, skinny jeans. If you have small legs and that's just the fit for you, whatever, whatever, do your thing. But, a lot of ladies are saying the spray on skinnies that were a thing maybe two, three years ago, we have to stop wearing those. We just have to stop wearing those. We can't have our jeans that are tighter than our woman's jeans. You should not be laying on the bed trying to get your pants on. You should just not be doing it. So the spray on skinny jeans and the moto jeans, let's get them out of here. <laughs> Coming at number one, guys, the number one complaint I got from women that men should stop doing, stop wearing, period. This is more of a statement, to be honest with you, but I kind of agree with them. Buy less shoes, focus on fits. You can have all the shoes in the world, but if you're just coming out with your off-whites, jeans, and a white tee, that's it. That's it. That's all you had to offer. You spent all this money on these off-whites or these Balmain shoes or these Balenciaga shoes and all you have to offer is just jeans and a white tee? That's it. You gotta do better. We have to do better. We have to do better. So I'd much rather have less shoes but more fits. There's a, you have to have a good balance, guys. And, and you know what? I'm going to actually blame the women on this one too, because quite frankly, women, we listen to you guys. When y'all talk about, first thing I do when I see a man is I look at his feet, guess what men are gonna do? We're gonna go out and buy the most expensive shoes because that's what y'all looking at first. Well, that's what y'all told us y'all looking at first. So what are men doing now? Buying expensive shoes, but they don't have anything else. When you start to look up, the fit is subpar. It's a subpar fit. So fellas, focus in on your fits, your actual fits, and buy less shoes. If you stayed this long, thank you so much for watching. I might come out with a part two. Again, it was a lot of responses, so it was hard to like, bring it down to 10 items. But if you have any questions, concerns, or even comments, drop them down in the comments below. You know the vibes. Go ahead and do that. It's your boy JB signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.